Vill du sparka snö på mig? Ja. Asså. Backa inte och inte gå framåt. Bara stanna. Asså. We are on our way to Härjedalen to fetch a new ram for our flock. We chose a really bad day to drive. <laughs> it's almost raining and snowing and it's minus degrees so it's a bit slippery. And it's about a two hour ride with the car. We are just going to have him uh, back in the car. So we will hope he is a calm and nice one. <laughs> He's a young one. A uh, young one, yeah. So we'll hope they can do the job. He became a little bit upset to be separated from his flock. Mm. No wonder. <laughs> but he has been quiet now the entire time in the car, so much better than the other rams we have <laughs> fetched. He started playing a little bit of music then, then he started to bleed. Yeah. Mm. He didn't like your choice of music. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> He's somewhere behind the tarp. <laughs>
it's just past three o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just arrived home. Yeah. And it's too dark to to put them together, everyone. Mm. So we'll wait till tomorrow. Yeah. But the ride home went very well. Yeah. Not too much sheep dung in the car and no. It was yeah. really quiet and yeah. behaved well. Yeah. He's eating now. It is the day after. It rained a little bit this morning and uh, this night uh, some of the snow started to co come off the roof. I just put a tarp down here because always when the snow falls down it gets so packed so it's easier for me to remove the snow when the tarp is there but before we are going to do anything about that we are going to move the rams over to the ladies and that's a little bit of a challenge we need to remove all the young girls from the flock as well separate them so let's get to it Du ska vara kvar. Är det du som är Signe? Signe? Ja. Jag blandar men det är ingen. De där två andra har alla för det. Ja, och det, det är Signe och hon har... Jag tycker jag känner igen honom. Nu föraktar du inte de följer efter. Doris bakom dig. Doris? Hej Doris. Nu har du, har du passa där Signes... Akta! Oj, oj, oj. Trampa där. Nu har du där, akta där, som ska vara på, stanna där. Hör du? Den här, ja. Ja. Du har... Ja, du ska väl vara på. Ja. Du är där. Vad fan ska vi göra här nu? Vi behöver ha så många koppar. Måste vi ta dem en och en? Ja, då får du stå här då. Så får jag bära dem lite. De har inga hål. <laughs> ja, men det behöver jag inte göra. Det funkar så. Ja, man ska byggt och lätt dem här då. Men de går ju inte från resten av flocken. Så det hade ju inte gått en nåd av lätt allihop. Då. Så still. Vad gör du? Ja, ja. Det blir mer träning bara. <laughs> Och dig. Det är ingen av de här som är på aggar. Det är två. Akta, akta, akta bakom dig. Akta. Trycka sig igenom. Så där, varför är det så korvigt där nere? Jag vet inte. Fixa det. Jag har kul. De ska vara där. Ja. Allihopa. Ja, där Greta är en stor flicka. Oj, oj, oj. Försiktigt där nu. Mm. Mm. Lite, lite, lite. 
Tror du att du skulle kunna gå och ställa dig vid staketet där? Mm. Bredvid? Mm. Så ja, det blir jättebra. Och så står jag här. Ta... Oj, oj. Han hoppar upp i vagnen. Kan du åka vagn? Du... Inte så lätt. Nej. Tackars pappa. Tycker du om... Om en snöboll. Det kan hända de tycker. Hej, vill du ha en snöboll? Vill du ha en snöboll? Vill du ha en snöboll? Vi måste fira upp sauna. Det är en seriös work. Lika mycket som du brukar göra. Vårt pisset. Jag försvann ner i snön. Uh, we need to think about how we could build some kind of nu får du. some kind of uh, permanent yes, permanent uh, not so flimsy take care of them and share them and stuff like that. Haga. What's that mean? Can you piss? No, again. Komma med nu. Oj. Jag ser att han minst ut. Det är Edelweiss facklan. Hon ser likadan ut. Ja. Oh, 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 vad lätt du va? Hon ser likadan ut som baggen i ansiktet. Oh, vad kan du ta lite ändå? Han är så stor. Det var ju de går. Ja, nu var det bara tre kvar. Har du fått denna? I Malvas hundbord. Och din bagge är ju i hönsspåren. Ivar is very tired now. Yes. He is... He uh, has been working very hard. Yeah, but he is... Uh, yes, fun. Yawning. Yawning. Mm -hmm. Is it time to go to sleep for a while? No. no. I can do it. I can go to sleep for a while. The little brown one. One possible solution is to to get a sheep dog. But I honestly get tired of thinking of the work to <laughs> train <laughs> train a sheep dog. Yeah. Okay. Han kaka lite. Kaka han lite. Ja. Yes. Oj, 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 oj! Du var tung! Han var liten! Han var liten! Ah, här kommer jag! Uh. Han var liten i färgård! I färgård? Ja. Inte idag. Nej, i färgård. Inte idag. Inte idag. Inte idag. Var är de fårarna där? Ja, de är inne i fårarna. Ja. Då 
det blir väl bra. Ja. Nästa etapp. Now we need to get the ramps to the ladies and I think we will try to get them to run by their own. I forgot to say in the beginning of this episode uh, welcome to the channel where we have no idea what we are doing but we are doing it anyway. That comes to two aspects of this episode. We need to figure out some way to manage the sheep uh, in an easier way. I have nothing against a little bit of workout but but I honestly have no idea how we could have solved that in a good way. It's very hard to separate individuals from the flock and get a flock of individuals that is separated to go to another place. I have no idea how to do that and I guess the really professional sheep herders have their dogs helping them with stuff like that. And I guess also easier infrastructure with uh, portable gates and, and fences and stuff like that. The other aspect that is going to be new for us is that we are going to try something called mob breeding. Uh, so now we have three rams, fertile rams, that we are going to release into the, to the ladies. And uh, then nature will, will, how do you say it? Nature will eat itself. Yeah, I guess. Then nature will sort, sort it out. And because we have more uh, fertile individuals in the flock, not just one, the problems with inbreeding should not appear. I have no idea if that is the case. I have not actually looked into it that much, but I need to look into it further. But since it has worked that way with chickens for, I don't know for how long, the whole history of chickens, I guess, and it works that way in the wild, so why wouldn't it work here? I guess time will tell. <laughs> Börja ridas med samma. Kom, kom, kom i Han gick in hit Funderar du Greta? Har du inga bra baggar? Vad 
de här där borta flickorna är? Nej, det fanns ju lite. Måste gå och göra det kanske. De hålls där. That went well, I think. They didn't run past our wagon, sleigh and wheelbarrow fence. What we did now is move all the youngest ewes to, to, the, to the small um, paddock we have here. The young ewes, they were born this summer and we didn't want them to get pregnant. Are you using that word on animals as well? And I don't know how big of a flock we want to remain here next year. If we want the same size herd, we need to choose who will gonna stay and who will end up in the freezer. And this year we only butchered five. And that is too little meat for our family. We share a lot with Tua's mother and father as well, so we need some more meat production here. And if the ewes get lambs, then, um, then they will not be as fat and as much meat as it, they could have. So now we got five young ewes in what started as our first temporary pig pen. <laughs> so it has been <laughs> here with the rickety uh, shelter <laughs> for some years now. But we have, it has been good. We have used it for the rams when we need to separate them from the flock and, and now in this situation. The problem is <laughs> Last year it was nice because then we had only one flock that we moved around because we butchered the ram because we weren't going to keep him. But this year we have three rams. I don't know any way we could put these together with the whole flock without separating out the rams from the flock. So we will end up with two flocks anyway. Uh, but I guess the rams can be down here and uh, regenerating these lands and we can have the ewes and the lambs up in the village regenerating those lands but still it's so much easier if if you only have one flock and i don't know how it could be possible to do that there are some devices you can hang on the on the rams so they don't have access <laughs> to the ewes but uh, I'm not sure I can trust. It's just a blanket hanging in front of his parts. So I'm not sure. And that doesn't feel so nice for him as well to have a dirty blanket always there. <sighs> yeah, I guess we will continue with our trial and error process. And in the end, it's nice anyway. The meat is so good. You cannot believe. If you know someone who does some home butchering and, and only grass feeds the ruminant animals, whether it's goats or cows or, or sheep, you should definitely ask if you can buy some meat from them and try it out. <laughs>